All right, so this is my current HVAC setup with the condensate line going into the emergency pan. They did decide to pop that out and run three elbow, 300 degree elbows to whatever the hell line that is. A vent line, a vent line, which is not great. The pan will fill up with water about 10 to 15 gallons every week or two. So after some thorough investigation of condensate lines, about $50 worth of material, got a new fitting over there. And then I got two 10 foot sections, a T. So this will stand up like this. Two 45s, because I've been told 90 degrees are the worst for um, collecting gunk and blocking up your condensate line. So don't use 90s. So I managed to do a quick little 45 with my P-trap and then my clean out. That'll pick up with a, I had to pull out the insulation and then right there is my gutter. <sighs> Nails. Ugh. And then I got these lines. These. Not much uh, clearance in here. Mm. I had to do a second hole to get the 45 to sit how I liked it. Just dry fitting. Oh, oh God, yeah. Look how beautiful that sits. Oh. <laughs> And there's my line. Coming out into my gutter, which is kind of filthy. <sighs> oh boy. All right, it might have taken a couple of days because it kept getting hot up here in the morning, but here it is, all glued up. I did uh, make sure the slope was good. Got a little blocking right there. Um, I'll probably put another block. <clears throat> it kind of sags right here, but that's because that two by four is on it. Out to the house. There's another angle. So there's a, there's a slope there. Um, this has already been tested for a couple of days now. I tested it by pouring water down and went outside and it, it was collecting in the gutter. So that was good. I could go to sleep at night. And then the unit has been running for a couple of days now and there's been no moisture at the knuckle, at the slip, whatever it's called. I put that there so that it would be easy in the future to you know, take this off and, and redo this if it needs to be. And then eventually I'll come attack the secondary line with a float switch. Easy enough, two wires. I should be able to figure that out. I'll have a couple redundancies. If that clogs, the float switch will activate. And if for whatever reason this fails, then I also have my emergency pan. And I think for now I'm gonna keep this. You know, I mean, it kind of it was working, so it's not ideal, but it was working. Now I just gotta move all that shit back. I'd say that's a success. Hmm? Look at that moss. <laughs> Never done any PVC work before. It was pretty fun. It's like Lego. I think for this application where there's no pressure, it's just a trickle of water. It was something that I felt I could do. But man, is it hot up here. I should have done this months ago when it wasn't. 90 degrees. Yeah. That's it for now.